So I started doing sugar daddies, introduced me to sugar daddies, I started doing sugar daddy. Is uko, uko, like all this uko. I have to use like up to four parts in a day. It was worse, like I'm using 15 parts in a day. I can't go out. Anywhere I'm going, I'll have to go with the pad. I'll have to look for a public toilet to change my pad that I'm using. Can you use because all this, these pads yes, throughout today? I, I took 25 pads. I used five out of it. This is the remaining one. And if I walk under the sun for five minutes like this, I'm full with blood. I used to use three pad, two pad, you guys I use it. At I will once. put toilet roll first. I will insert cotton wool in my body. I will put cotton wool in my body. I will put toilet roll on the pad before I now put two pad in my pants. What's up guys? Is your girl Nay baby? So guys, I have this lady by my side. There is something she said she wants to say out her life experience that she wants to share out to the people to here and also advise her if there is any advice please be kind with your advice don't don't mention your name just go straight with the story the reason why you contacted me yeah good afternoon everyone i'm here to share my story with you and what's going on with me right now and what i need most from you is your prayer most your prayer please I'm a student of Funam Jazzy Bay School for year student. I need your prayer. Like, I'm really depressed. I don't know what to do. I can't keep it to myself anymore. I need your prayer. Please, you guys, to just be kind with me. I know, though, I took a wrong step, but I already amended my ways. I need everyone's prayer right now. I'm a final year student of Funam Jazzy Bay School, and I came from a very rich background. My family are okay, and I'm okay as well. It was my greediness, and I'm just so desperate for money. I'm not okay with what I have, so I went to join bad friends. In my first year in school, I got influenced with bad friends. I started taking drugs, taking alcohol. I was into molly and all that, clubbing as well. So I started with sugar daddies. They introduced me to sugar daddies. I started doing sugar daddies in school. Sometimes I'll not go to class. I'll not attend class. I'll sleep out. So when I started my university, that was when I started sleeping out. Because my parents never allow. I came from like a very strict background. Like I'm a kind of girl that if they scold me once, I'll not go back to that thing. But I just started this act when I started going to school. So I started this club in life alcohol, taking drugs, and all that in school. So I started doing sugar daddies, introduced me to sugar daddies, I started doing sugar daddy, going out for paro in the night, and I get paid for it. That's, what is paro, I beg? It's uko, uko, like all this uko, you, you, you hook you up, they'll pay you guys, and all that. So that, was, that was what I started doing in, in school. When I was in 200 level, I was so deep in this. I cannot, I can't call myself back. Even my friends were like, "I'm doing, I'm doing this so much." Like, I, I was even doing it deep than them. They stopped talking to me, so I left them. They went on their own, and I keep doing my thing. I was so, I, I, I upgraded to the level that I started taking eyes in 200 level. I started taking eyes. I don't need to sleep. Like. For four months trip, I did not close my eyes. I did not sleep because of these eyes. Because that's the work it does. You won't sleep. I don't sleep. How do you take the eyes? Is is it something like smoke? It's inside a small cup. You okay. puff it with pop. That I take. I started taking eyes. I don't go to class sometimes. So these eyes, it make me just look so lean and all that. I I can't stop it because I was so addicted to it. I even now, if not for God and the things that I'm going, that is going going through me, I just have to stop it and seek for advice, looking for counselor here and there, but no changes. So to cut the long story short, when I was into these drugs and clubbing, when my friend left me, they said they can't work with me again. I continue, I keep doing my thing. So I met this guy on IG. He invited me to Dubai. So I went to me the guy in Dubai. Yeah. I spent two weeks in Dubai. We have, yeah, so I went to meet this guy in Dubai. Where? Which country again? I beg. Come in. in Dubai. From here? From yeah. Nigeria? You can't in travel Nigeria. to Dubai? Yeah, from For school. runs? For this runs business. From school? Yes, from school. 
just for this drones business. I went to meet the guy in Dubai. He took me to places. We had things together. We had fun and everything. I spent two weeks. So coming back to Nigeria, I started feeling one kind of thing in my body. My pride was inching me. Started having scars here and there in my private parts. I thought it's a minor thing I can just treat. I went to the hospital, they gave me drugs, they did they run so many tests, they were like they did not see anything. Even me just being alone, not treating myself is even better because if I just say I'm treating myself, it's getting worse every day. The scars is there, having bad smell. I can't even get close to anybody. If I walk past people, they have to cover their nose. I was so ashamed of myself, like, I can't go out sometimes. So it got to a point that I started bleeding. I started having bleeding in my anal, my private parts. I started bleeding. I have to use, like, up to four parts in a day. It was worse, like, I'm using 15 parts in a day. I can't go out. I'm in the hostel. I can't go out. I'll just be in the room. They have to send me out of the hostel. The girls in the hostel, they have to report me to the school management. They send me out of school. I, I still have... A, little money in my account i look for an apartment close to school so i started staying there alone in the room i can't go out i can't do is this still coming out it's still coming out even anywhere i'm going i'll have to go with pad i'll have to look for a public toilet to change my pad that i'm using can you use because all these this, pads yes throughout today i, I took 25 pad i used five out of this is the remaining one i'm going to use it today I'm consuming every pads. day, every That's day. That's how it is every day. There's no solution. I've go here and there. I've traveled to states. People telling me go here, go there. I'm going, but there's no changes. Nothing is changing. It's getting worse every day. It's getting so worse. Like I cannot go. Home. I can't even go home to my. They have been calling me to come home. Like because you have been in school for like, over one year. I've not come home. I was saying I'm fine. I don't feel like coming. Home. I'm fine where I am. I'm just giving them that format. I do not go home. I'm in the room. So I have to go out. I don't have choice than to go out. I went out. They told me to go to one pastor, go here. I went. They said that the guy used me. That the guy I met last, that used me for ritual. Like, I'm so down. They said I should be from the church. It, it sends me to one um, prayer ground at altar. I went. There's no changes. Nothing, nothing. It's just, they just gave me prayer water. I'm using it, but it's getting so worse. It's getting so worse. Like, there's nothing I want to do. I don't even know what to do. It's just feeling like I should just take something and I should just die. The things I'm even taking is not working. I know God just wants me to face it, to face the bad thing I did. Everything I take, nothing is working. I call those my friends. No, none of them is picking their calls. There's no, I call the guy. His number is not going through. I message him on WhatsApp. He's not going. Nothing is changing. I need everyone's advice. There is no, like, I don't even know what to do. I can't go home. I can't go home. Even if he's going home, there is a solution. I can't go home. Because what do I want to tell my parents? Is it money they are not giving me? I'm not lacking anything at home, but I'm too desperate for this money. And secondly, the friends I met in school, that he friends me to all this. But I just want to thank God for once that I stopped this eyes that is even making me to get my body back. Because this eyes, it made me so lean. Throughout last month, I was looking so lean. Because of that eyes I'm taking, because there is no way to sleep. It's not making me sleep. Day and night, I'm not sleeping. I can't close my eyes. My eyes is just opening like this. But I thank God that these eyes, I have to stop it and the drugs and everything. So the problem I'm having now is that this thing has gotten to a stage that, in fact, even if I just laugh, I can't laugh. I can't cry. I can't do anything. Even if I talk too much, I'll be feeling it like it's coming out like pump. As if I, I cannot even, if I say I should just breathe in, it's coming out like pump. I'll feel it. I'll have to look for somewhere to hide, to use pad. Even me coming down to this place to meet you, like, it's feeling like I'm even waiting so much pad, so much time here. If I just lift my skirt now, I know, I know that there's blood. There's stain of blood all over my laps. There's nothing. If I'm, like, ah, in fact, last week, before I went to this pastor at Ota, I was seeing maggots coming out from my body. I was seeing maggots all over the pad. I was like, God, what was this? I told the pastor, he said that the only thing can assist me with is his prayers, and he will leave the rest to God. And now I'm hoping for things to change. I'm, I'm hoping on God for this thing to change. I need people's prayer. Because no medication is working, no hospital, nothing is working. I've spent so much money on this. I've gone here and there, nothing is changing. Please, I need, I need people's prayer. I can't go home. I can't 
what, what are, what am I going home to do? What am I going home to do? Is it to tell my parents that it, they, they are not giving me money? Or is, what, what am I, I'm not lacking anything in school. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. If there's anywhere people can take me to, for this thing to change. In fact, who am I to walk under this one? If I walk under the sun for five minutes like this, I'm full with blood. I don't even know. Maybe the, the thing is the sun that is even making it come out. I don't understand. I'm just, I used to use three pad, two pad, you guys, I use it. At I'll once. push toilet through first. I will insert cotton wool in my body for this thing not to stay me in nothing less than 15 minutes. I will put cotton wool in my body. I will put toilet through on the pad before I now put two pad in my pants. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do again. In fact, it's and getting if you do so not much, put it, it's coming out. Pad. Even if I if I can even use adult diaper to 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 to, to make this blood just stick on the pad, not to stain my clothes because in fact sometimes if I just look down or smile a bit or laugh, my laps is filled with blood now. Everywhere is filled of blood. People, sometimes people will be looking at me on the streets. Some people even will come here and see your clothes. I'm just saying, ah, sorry, I didn't know I was on my period. I just have to say something. In fact, I don't know what to do again. It's getting too much for me. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I don't know if anybody can just help me to take but me But the maggots, have they stopped? Uh, it's not like it stopped. It's just coming. It stopped more than the other time. But at least if I remove my pad, I'm sitting like maybe four or five on the pad. Life one. Life, life maggots, they'll, they'll be walking. If even me on my own, I know I'm smelling to myself. If I go close to people, they'll be perceiving smell. But they'll just look like, ah, what's going on? I can't, if I want to buy something, I'll have to stay far. They'll know that something is happening. I can't do anything. Is it to go and eat in the restaurant? I'm smelling. I can't stay close to anyone. That but is why that I'm staying alone. But that guy in that you went to Dubai to meet, is he the first person that you have you have traveled to go and meet? Yes, he's the first person I've traveled to go and meet. I just used to travel just interstate. He's the first person I travel out of Nigeria. So he's the first person I travel out of Nigeria to Okay, meet. so but you can travel from this state to another state before? Yes, I can travel from it to another state. And you never have this kind of experience? I never had this kind of experience for He's the first person. I came back from Dubai no less than two weeks. I started feeling all this. It's, and even when I that guy like when we knock ourselves i never follow anybody again because i had enough money when i came back i never I just to make i just use that one the whole body i never follow anybody do anything that guy pay you well he paid me very well like i never i just to make i just the whole body like nothing less than so i started to the field say everywhere just the inch everything just i was like ah waiting the soap uh, even if it's only inching, she be I'm okay. I will just be inching my thing. But the scars, the blood, the maggots, like the bleeding is too much. The bleeding is too much. I'm I'm consuming more than four thousand era pad. What was four thousand in a day? I will use toilet roll, use cotton wool, everything. I I don't I cannot walk. I cannot walk fast. If I walk fast, the blood is pumping like maybe like tap. I can't walk, I just have to be, I go just the guy, the waka, just they put small kind style, just the waka small, small. I don't feel sit down, because if I sit down, my clock will stain. I'm always standing, I just they stand, only if I go out, now I go sit down on top, put in potty, make the thing they come and put for there. But if I dare anyway, I don't feel sit down, because if I sit down, who am I to stand up? I don't feel stand up, my clock will don't stain. I go just the waka, even if I don't have anywhere to go, I will just the waka. Maybe I just won't collect money for period. Person go see me car and sit down. I know if I sit down, I just know I'm fine. I will just stand because I know if I sit down. If I sit down, it will worst in the whole case. So that's my prayer. I need people's prayer. I need to pray. I beg. I need prayers. I need somewhere to go. If there's anywhere I can go to, I've I've traveled everywhere. There's no changes. It's just getting worse day by day. And again, money where I get like this, everything don't finish. I don't use them for different different place because if i talk to the person go say go here go there i've spent my money on fake even fake things that i've used i've spent a lot of money i don't have any money again like in fact i don't know what who do i want to go and meet i used to call my parents all the time i need money for this i will even lie to them i need money for this in school they will send it i will quickly go and use it to sort myself but no changes like this now i'm dry i'm 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 left with nothing. So you don't carry this bag just to put... Uh, the only thing that is left in my bag now is just to, for me to put pad. My house is filled. I don't have anything in my house. My house is just filled with pad. Only pad. All I have in my life now is pad. Pad here yeah, and there. Yeah. Everywhere filled with pad. I will have to be putting pad all over my back. Toilet, show, cutting wool. Hmm. I'm tired though. Please, if there is oh, wow. anything I can do. I need people. I will help. post your video. Hi. Guys, please, let's advise her. If you know any man of God or pastor that can deliver her from this thing, 
according to her she said she go she feel use almost 20 pads let me see again see how she carry pad through her bag she feel use all this pad even more than she don't already use up to how many have you used today i use five today you don't already use five today yes, and this is just 10, this is just 10 30 10 30 a.m she don't use more than five pads see the remaining one was still there inside her bag she goes to use all these things today okay put in your bag this is somehow guys let's be very careful we need to be very very careful in this life and please let's put her in prayers pray for her don't worry god is going to deliver you but since you said you have you have stopped this thing right mm. you know the smoke again you know they take anything again mm. see now your parents have money you see the precautions now all these things this disadvantage no be here that time you want to start it, you don't go even think of the disadvantage. You don't even know that a day like this will come. Imagine how many parts in a day. This one has stress now. Every blessed day. For how long now? It's going to two months now. It's going to two months. God will deliver you. <sighs> Things that happen for this life, oh. Let's be very careful. Let's be very, very careful, guys. Things that happen. Please help me share this video. Okay, guys, please, let's share this video advise her if you have any advice suggest your opinion on the comment section for her thanks for watching this video guys